He is the man behind the most influential games of all time. He is the man who introduced a generation of role-playing gamers to the unspeakable horrors of HP Lost. Let me present you Sandy Peterson! I have had my game Doom held up in Congress by Tipper Gore and Hillary Clinton and denounced as leading kids to violence, so the hell with them. Many games contain content that is deeply disturbing. I had the pleasure to meet Sandy Peterson at Luca Comics, the Italian Comic Con, some time ago. This interview was supposed to be shown on the TV network I work for, but they did not. So I say, screw them, I'm publishing it on my channel. And the first subject I asked Sandy about was... Uh, Doom, 1993. Yeah. So how was your contribution in Doom? I wrote 20 out of the 27 levels. I named all the monsters, I named all the levels, I organized the levels into where they would, how they would go, what the order is you'd see them in, mm -hmm. um, and I worked out how much damage all the weapons would do, so I guess it was a pretty big contribution. And let's not forget the big fucking gun! We like to call it the, yes, I did, I actually invented, I actually worked to make the big fun, the big fun gun <laughs> to be the way it was. Uh, John Carmack wanted to have a big super gun and his original idea for it didn't work. So I said, look, uh, he was, he shot a bunch of bubbles down a hall, but it would spray out, didn't always get the monsters. I said, what you want the big fun gun to do is shoot a smart bomb, a bomb that goes down there and blows up and kills everything in the room. And they go, brilliant, and that's, I, I, took, I took that idea from ancient video games, mm -hmm. but then they used it and that was the successful thing, so, the big fun gun. Doom was released in 1993 by ID Software, a company founded by John Carmack and John Romero, soon becoming a hugely successful video game. Before Doom, there had been several attempts to have a game that you could play on the computer, that you could play over the the a modem with other people but none of them were successful i worked on several i worked on command hq some other games like that but the number of people that played them with other people was vanishingly small doom came out doom had two things going for it first was it was at the time the best technology for a game so it looked really good it was a subject that everybody loved space marines fighting monsters and demons i mean that's just perfect and it had a really strong interaction because you shoot each other. So it, went, it came out with a very crude uh, internet system, but that was enough. And that's the first game that people played head to head, where instead of fighting against the game designer or the computer graphics or something else, you're actually killing your marketing manager. You're shooting him or you're fighting your roommate. And that was the, that's what made Doom take off. And now, of course, every, almost every computer game has a huge internet aspect to it. I think that's great because people started, instead of playing with the machine, they're playing with humans. Technically, it was not the first person shooter ever, but it was with Doom that the genre became really popular, spawning countless imitation. We did not know, by the way, the head-to-head -head play would be so popular. That was, a, that was a shock to us at id Software. We thought maybe 10% of the people would like that, and everybody loved it. It really drove the game all over the place. This might make you smile now, but in 1993, Doom was considered an extremely realistic game displaying extremely realistic killings. It was even accused of being a mass murder simulator. Violence, because there is violence in the game, so it's more... Uh... Well, I have, had my, I have had my game Doom held up in Congress by Tipper Gore and Hillary Clinton and denounced as leading kids to violence, so... The hell with them. <laughs> I think it's bunk. When the, when the Columbine massacre happened, they said, oh, it was Doom. Doom teaches you to do that. Doom doesn't teach you to do that. Mm -hmm. There was one, per, one person, an expert, who said, yes, because the, the way you actually go and shoot people, and Doom teaches you this, is you shoot one time, and then you go to the next person and shoot. Doom doesn't teach that. Doom teach, have you played Doom? You t in Doom, you shoot, 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 shoot till they fall down, right? Mm -hmm. Then you go to the next. It teaches the exact opposite. Also, in real life, you have to hide behind corners. 
in a real fight, yeah, yeah. And, right? Do you do that in Doom? Never. You just run around. So Doom doesn't teach any of the skills you need for a real firefight. I mean, yes, it's violent. A first-person shooter is a very violent game. But it's escapist violence. I mean, if you get two four-year-old boys together and they go in the backyard and they have sticks, the sticks immediately become swords or guns, right? Mm -hmm. This is how it is. It's part of how we, it's part of how we express our anxieties and, and learn things. It doesn't make us be violent. I know people that told me that when they were angry at their sales director, they would play Doom with them, or now I guess it's probably Call of Duty, and they'd shoot them about 50 times in the game, and then they were friends again. <laughs> So it actually blows off steam. I think the people that think that Doom makes you violent are people that don't play it and don't see what happens in it. If you meet people that do play Doom or that play role-playing mm -hmm. games, they're not violent, aggressive people. They're people that like to cooperate and like to have fun, and it's a whole different thing. The next part of the Sandy Peterson interview will be about Call of Cthulhu and the unfathomable horrors of H.P. Lovecraft. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please subscribe. This was Shinji72, see you next. Here in the regular world, you find out about something, realize